Hola friends, Dapper Drabby here, and today we're going to do some more legendary deck battles. Now, the decks that I'm going to go over today are well known. Uh, one of them won the World Championship, the other lost the World Championship. And that is, we are going to be opening and playing the Infinite Force versus Galissador. Um... These World Championship decks are the two that got first and second in the Masters Division in the World Championship in um, in August. So we have Diego Casaraga, Diego Casaraga, and uh, Naito Suzuki. I heard Naito is new to the game, uh, but worked well with the uh, was on the same team as last year's World Champion, who had the Mega Audino deck. And they built the same deck to, uh, this year, and Naito got second with it, and I believe the last year's world champion got in the top 32 with the same deck. So, let's go ahead, we'll get into these. Uh, we'll get them open, show you guys what's inside, and then we'll have a little match against them. Kind of a rematch, if, uh, per se. So, I guess let's open up second place first, and we'll check out uh, Naito's uh, signature. Um, we'll just go ahead and get into this. Oh, the lists are right in the back. I don't have to do... I don't have to go over each card. You guys will see them in the game. But wow, that does not want to open nonetheless. So we'll go ahead and open all of that. So, play like a champion with the World Championship decks, guys. Uh, choose one of, of four powerful decks. Each a card-for-card -card replica of the actual title contender's deck from the 2017 Trading Card World Championship. Um, so, actually, here's a little blurb. So here's what's in the deck. I'll go over that in a second. But let's let's read the blurb. Uh, Nato Suzuki combined the new Galissapod GX with the already popular Garbodor, which was known that going to be, uh, what well, which was known to that it was going to be in the uh, World Championship. I'm sure some people still played Garbodor uh, Drampa, both the Trashlands and Garbotoxin versions to reach. The Masters Division Final. With help of Floatstone and new supporter cards Guzma and Acerola, this deck can keep switching Glucipod GX into the active spot and unleash 120 damage for a single Grass Energy with its first impression attack. Later in the game, after the opponent has played en enough item cards, Garbodor can finish things off with a massive Trash Alliance. So that's just kind of a blurb. Uh... Naito's from Japan. So, Galissapod has three Galissapod GXs, four Wimpods, four Garbodors, four Trubbish. Now, that is a 2-2 split, I believe, uh, of the Trash Lance Garbodor and the uh, Garbotoxin Garbodor. It uh, has Tapu Lele GX, two of those, one Tapu Coco, uh, two Acerola, one Bridget, two Choice Band, a Field Blower, four Float Stones, uh, two Guzmas, one Heavy Ball for those Galissapods, uh, one Hex Maniac, three Ends, four Professor Sycamores, two Rescue Stretchers, one Teammates, four Ultra Balls, four Via Seekers, uh, double Colorless Energy, three of those, uh, three Grass Energies, and four Rainbow Energies. And as you guys can see, ah, from my local place, I was able to get them for $11, which is pretty, pretty good. It's a little cheaper than the uh, online stores. I love this book that it comes with, not only for the Anaheim art here that they have, which is amazing, I must say. The Alolan, mixing Alolan stuff with Anaheim, California. I've been there, and these things are pretty cool. You know, Mimikyu, Sandy Gas, Pukimuka, Corsola, uh, Marini. You can see those things in there. Um, the California Challenge, it was on the 18th and the 20th. Uh, this tells you the uh, brackets for uh, the juniors, the brackets for the seniors. Now, the next thing, next thing you guys will see next week is uh, Zachary's deck versus um, what's the other person's name? It is uh, Kabu's here. Kabu's deck. So. Maybe Kabu versus um, Zachary for that that second one, and then here's the Masters. Pretty cool, right? Pretty pretty cool. Um, this was that swag that everybody got, which uh, and everyone that I, sh I should say everyone that went got. Yeah, it's not gonna focus on it. 
Come on, I want to see the swag. I want to see the swag. I don't know if there's... So I can get a far away picture of it. I can't get a close up though. But the backpack, a mat, the hat, the towel. So much amazing swag. I really wish I could have gone to get some swag. And I got some pictures from the event. They got uh, Tobias's uh, Gardevoir Gallade deck list here. Uh, Minaka Hasegawa's Pink Doesn't Suit Me <laughs> Gardevoir deck. We got the Samurai Sniper, which we will be going over in uh, next weekend's video. And then an infinite stream of uh, Xerneas and Gardevoir together. More pictures. We got uh, Zachary Bukhari's, uh, <laughs> Bukhari's deck, Ice Path for the win. Um, we'll be going over that one next week. Uh, Michael Long's Bubble Trouble, which is another Grand Ninja. Grand Ninja, always, always somewhere, right? A, a cute Pokemon team from uh, Takumi Kaji, uh, which is what Guard of War, three Guard of Wars with Sylveon that later won a tournament, I believe. Drampa Garb, there's that Drampa Garb. Some more pictures. And then we go into the seniors. We got Diego, the Infinite Force, and Anato Suzuki's with the Glissador. Um, also up there was Divide and Conquer, an Espeon. Looks like Garbodor. Oh, Espeon GX. Espeon Garbodor deck, yes. And then a uh, Flower Pot, which is Glissopod Garbodor. Flower Pot? That's a good name. Which, was that last year's winner? No, that wasn't. And then they go over the video games. Who won those? And their teams. If you guys are interested in doing competitive VCG, you can look into kind of starting with these sets and then seeing what, where they, uh, what you can learn from them. So I love this booklet. I love that booklet, being able to view it. And seeing what were the decks that won the year. Um, which is really surprising because Gardevoir had just came out and then won the uh, the World Championship in like three weeks later. So there's a Galissapod card and the faded uh, Bridget card. So you guys don't have Bridget, so you could borrow the Bridget from this deck as long as you don't use it in a tournament. These are not tournament legal decks, but they are fun to play around. You can start playing with your friends and learning the uh, minutia of the uh, of the game. And these pins are awesome. Uh, so this one is, comes in a pink one. So there's the the card it comes with. So you can borrow some Lele's and Coco's. Here's that code for you guys. You guys can get a sleeves and something else, I think. I think it's a sleeve and a coin and a deck box, I think. Some sleeves and a deck box for sure. Uh, but go ahead and take that code. Um, obviously, I'll have three more because I have the uh, I have all four decks. They all come with the same deck sleeves, unfortunately. So if you end up buying these to play amongst your friends you'll end up with a couple of them here's the more trainers so this needs some seriously serious shuffling so there's the galissapod two main guys in this deck is galissapod and garbador must have been in the other pile yes he is so here is the power of this deck right here you block abilities with Garbodor and a Float Stone. You attack with First Impression, and then you uh, Trash Your Lance to end the game out. So, we'll go ahead and get that shuffled up. We'll set it aside for now. I guess this time we'll keep them in there regular. We won't, uh, we won't sleeve these guys up because I don't think I have the extra sleeves for one. But also because... Uh, they're not real cards. They're just they're just cards. No. 
Um, they we we're not gonna sleeve them up because they're just um temporary cards. I I never really sleeved up a lot of the last year's ones either. I would sleeve up. Uh, I would put last year's. I would steal the shamans and put them in my in my decks. Sorry, so I could actually play with them. But other than that, like I would just leave them all in a, in the box that they came in. So Diego Casagara Casa Casaraga. Uh, there we go. Steered his decks, deck built around the new Gardevoir GX to victory in the Masters Division. This impressive Pokemon is a combo onto itself with its Secret Spring ability that lets you attach an extra Fairy Energy in its Infinite Force attack that channels the energy into massive damage with Rare Candy and DNC to speed evolution. Octillery to keep your hand full and Tapu Lele GX to pull just the supporter you need. This deck is a force to be reckoned with. Thus, Infinite Force. So I think they didn't want to print out two um, uh, two different uh, Gardevoir lists. That's why you only see the Gardevoir list that won the Masters. Because uh, they still consider Masters the premier division. Um, even if it seems like the Juniors is, is better built. So, Wow. Okay. So, there we go. Yeah, cause he's like, like, that's my main question. Is like, would... Uh, Tobias's Gardevoir beat uh, Diego's uh, Gardevoir. That's the real question here, right? So maybe... Oh, I just bent that a little bit. So here's the two main attackers. You know, you... Gallade is super good with those uh, those things that are fighting weak, which are around. I think they're still around, actually. So, we see a little bit of what's in Gardevoir here. Um... Infinite Force, DNT to evolve quickly, Necurlia, and I don't think this is the one that plays Vulpix, but I could be wrong. I think he has one copy of Vulpix and one copy of DNC. Tapu Lele, Remoraid, and a Beacon so that it can evolve quickly. Um, so, uh, I'll get these guys shuffled up, and we will go ahead and face off these two legendary decks versus each other. So, I'll see you guys in a moment. This has been Dabber Derby. Be right back.